Now I'm going to go over how to create an album, slideshow, and cast that slideshow to a cast-enabled device such as a Chromecast plugged into your TV or something along those lines like an Android TV uh, within Google Photos. As you can see, um, I'm in Google Chrome um, on my laptop here. And that is because you cannot create slideshows um, from the Google Photos app at the time of this recording. You can create albums and stuff in the app, but you can't do a slideshow. That's why I'm on this. Also, if you want to cast this slideshow or album or just um, photo, you can only do that on a laptop within or a desktop um, in Google Chrome. If you want to cast a singular photo, you again can do that from the app. But if you want to cast a slideshow, you have to do it from a computer. Um, but you can do it uh, Mac or PC as long as you're using Google Chrome. So the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and create an album by selecting the photos we want in that album. I'm uh, just at Google Photos on the main photo page. So these are all my photos um, that have uploaded. So if you hover over a photo, you'll see the check mark in the upper left-hand corner. You can go ahead and click that um, to select the photo that you want in the album. Um, you can do that for each individual photo that you want, but you can also go ahead and select uh, whole days at one time just by clicking the check mark above the day if you want. So I can go ahead and scroll through and add um, whatever photos I want. So once I have all the photos I selected that I want in the album, in the top right hand corner, I'll hit the plus button. I'll create an album. You could also do any of these other ones if you wanted to. Um, shared albums are great if you want to share um, these albums with friends so they can add photos and things like that. Um, but we're just going to create a normal album now. You can always turn a normal album into a shared album later on. So if you do eventually want to share it that way, you can do that. So that I've, now that I've clicked album, um, I'm going to create a new album. You could also, if you had existing albums, they would have shown up there and you could just add it to existing albums. But on this account, I don't. Um, then you're going to label the album up here at the top and it'll label the album with all your photos, which in here you can go and um, get rid of them if you want to. You can add more photos, add text, um, add location and um, change the sorting order. Um, but we're done with this album, so we're going to click the check mark in the top left. And we're good. And if we go back to the main page of Google Photos, you'll see now under Albums, we have our test album here. And if we click on Albums, it'll pop up. So now we want to go ahead and create that slideshow. So we want to select the album we want to create a slideshow out of. Um, and from here, you can go ahead and click the three dots and click slideshow and it'll start playing a slideshow. Um, you can't control how long these photos are up on screen. Uh, it seems like five seconds or so, maybe a little longer, but you can't adjust that timing. Um, but you can pause it and use the arrows to manually click back and forth and you can click this square-ish button to exit. And that just brings you to the photos and you can go back and you're at the albums. Now, if you want to cast this album as a slideshow onto your TV, you actually want to cast this tab um, in Chrome here first and then start the slideshow. So to cast a, a tab in Chrome, um, you just click the three dots, not these three dots, but the ones actually in the Chrome bar here click these three dots, you'll get this drop down menu, go to cast, and then you'll have all your cast enabled devices um, in your house on your same Wi-Fi here as your computer that you're using. So we want to go ahead and we're actually just going to cast to the kitchen display. Um, and if you have all these labeled correctly in your home app or however you first set them up, it should be easy to find the one you want. Um, but I'm going to do the kitchen display. That's a Nest Hub Max, but you could do your, your TV if it has a Chromecast or something like that. We're going to click that. You can see it's casting. We'll click out of that menu. You can tell up here now 
by this blue cast logo that this tab is casting. You can see that here as well with this square logo. If I open a new tab, you can see I don't have that square logo here. That means it's not casting this tab, it's casting this photos tab here that has that square box on it. So now that we're casting, um, it's actually not showing anything. Um, it, it's showing this tab on that kitchen display so people will see all of this information. But now if I click the three dots in photos, so these three dots here and select slideshow, it's going to start that slideshow. It's going to look similar to how it did before, but now it's actually showing this slideshow on the kitchen display as well. And it's going through the different photos here. Um, just as you see it here on the desktop, it's doing the same thing on the kitchen display. Uh, when you want to stop casting, you just select the little blue icon and then select the device you're casting to and it'll stop casting. You can see we're now disconnected um, and we can exit out of this slideshow, go back to photos, and you can see there's no more blue casting icon up here and no more square um, casting icon over here on this tab either. So I'm no longer casting to that display that I selected before. So that's how you can go ahead and create albums, start slideshows, and even cast slideshows um, through Google Photos here on a desktop, whether you're using Mac or PC, you just gotta be using the Chrome browser to make all of this work. Hopefully this video helps, and if it does, go ahead and leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel to get more videos like this one on how to make technology work better for you. Thanks.